Today we want to look at a counterweight propeller. This is sometimes called a two position propeller. And what we have here is we have a counterweight. We have two counterweights. And the counterweight, their job is to, as the propeller spins, these counterweights will try to move the blades to a high pitch position. The way the pilot sets a low pitch posi position is there's a three-way valve and the three-way valve moves this cylinder. So this cylinder will move up and down allowing these blades to rotate. So we've got flyweights that move the blades in one direction and we have a hydraulic cylinder built into the propeller that moves it in another. Look at this beautiful cabin Waco. It has a really nice, this antique airplane is just it's got a beautiful radial engine and it's got a two position uh, propeller and we're going to talk about that propeller. This uh, happened, I took this up in uh, a local air show here in Ohio and uh, this, <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, Annie Hines, man of consequence. But here is the, pick, the propeller that we're talking about. The reason that we want to look at this antique propeller is because it builds a base as a foundation for uh, other propellers that came later in the design uh, uh, evolution, if you will. So by understanding this propeller, it'll tell us a lot about what we'll see in regular constant speed propeller installations. So this is a drawing of this side view of this propeller. If you'll notice that we have these two big counterweights here, and then we have this piston, this, this dome out here, this piston, and then we've got the blades so looking back at here, here's my counterweights. They've got a grease zerk on them. And then this round center, that's, that's a dome where I can put engine oil. And I'll use the engine oil as hydraulic, uh, hydraulic fluid. So the way this works is out here in this hydraulic piston area, uh, we can pump oil and this, this whole piece, this whole top cap will slide. This, this piece right here, this shiny piece with the hex, center you can see there's a couple of snap rings that thing slides in and out and when we slide in and out we can move the propeller blades now looking at the counterweight the way this works is that the counterweights try to move it one way and if we build up enough oil pressure we can move it the other way and if we lock the oil pressure we can lock it in the middle so we can drain it out, we can drain the oil pressure out, and the counterweights can take over, or we can generate a high oil pressure and pump that to the blades to move it. So what we do is the counterweights try to move this to a high pitch position. And then the only way that we can change that is to overcome it with increased oil uh, pressure, hydraulic pressure, which will move it to the low pitch position. So it's really kind of a push of war. I've got the, the counterweights trying to move it to low pitch and I've got um, uh, oil pressure. If I build up enough oil pressure, I can move it um, to low pitch. So counterweights to high, high pitch, big angle, um, hydraulic pressure to low pitch, low angle. 